Hey guys. Hey Janet and Linda and Bonnie. If somebody would please let me know if you guys can hear and see me. Hey Mary. Hey Kay. I just want to make sure that you guys can hear me and see me. Kathy, I'm glad to be back. Last week was horrible. I didn't do my Facebook Live on Wednesday. Started feeling sick Tuesday night at work, and I didn't work Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday last week. So yeah, I wasn't I wasn't feeling very good at all. Hey Patricia. Okay, can somebody comment if they can hear and see me okay? Okay, thanks, Patricia. Okay, I'm just going to make sure I have everything pulled up and I'm where I'm supposed to be. <coughs> I still have a cough, you guys. I don't know. I personally think that um, wearing the masks, because I was off. Hey, Christine. I was off um, the week before. I only worked Monday and Tuesday because the 4th of July. And so I, I was off five days. And then I went back last Monday and I worked Monday and then Tuesday and then wearing the mask again because we have to wear them during our whole shift in Tuesday night, like after seven o'clock when I ate my, my lunch. Oh my gosh, I just started feeling so bad. And yeah, I just kind of went downhill from there. So I called in on Wednesday and then called in on Thursday and called in on Friday and I don't like to miss. <laughs> so that's. That was bad. Okay, guys, let's jump right in because I have some things I want to tell you guys. The winner for the last Facebook Live that I did was Carol Korolowski. Korolowski, I hope I'm saying that right. I'm so sorry um, if I'm messing up your name. I knew that would be a hard one to figure out how to pronounce. But she won the Zany Zebras stamp set. And then the monthly, um, I had extra for my monthly kit club in May. So this is card number two. And I'll print out and send her that PDF. Um, I'm just going to put that all together so that way I know. And I'm going to put it right back here. So if you would go to my blog and fill out the prize claim form, I would really appreciate that. Um, or you can private message me here. That would be great too. Hey, Janet. And Jill, I know I saw you on here. Um, I thought I had mailed you your um, free make and take packets. You placed an order the other day. Those went out in the mail this morning. I checked my records and found out that I didn't mail them to you. So I'm sorry about that. I try to get those out as soon as I can. Okay, so next week's um, winner will be announced on that Facebook Live. And um, it's going to be the stamp set game on. This is pretty popular, if I'm not mistaken. This one's on back order, but I can't remember. And then I also had an extra packet. I always make extra because I never know. Um, I try to get these all designed. Well, they're all designed, but the prep, the cut, packaging, everything, all done way ahead of time. So I never know, you know, if I'm going to get new people, and I am. I'm so happy about that on my um, monthly kit club. But I always make extra, and so I'll print out the PDF on that as well. So that's going to be next week's prize patrol. If you leave a comment or share the video, that's how you guys are going to be entered to win that. Um, I'm not going to do, I decided to stop doing the, the live drawing after the Facebook because I enjoy doing it for you guys like live so you can see who won and all that kind of stuff. But now since I can't do the the live drawing and I have to do it afterwards. I've decided to just not do that. If I can figure out a way to a comment picker that will let me do it um, live, I'll go back to doing that. But that was the fun and the enjoyment of it for me. Um, and I always forget to say this, but anybody that's new that this might be your first time watching, my name is Bobby Crouch. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the U.S. and I do these Facebook Lives every Wednesday at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, unless I'm sick or something comes up. Um, I hate canceling them, but life happens. You know what I mean? Okay. So, and I want to share with you guys that we have bonus days going on right now with Stampin' Up. So how this works is every $50 you spend in July, you'll earn a $5 coupon to spend in August. And you have to keep the email. Make sure you save your emails, you guys. 
and they will email you those codes um, as soon as you place your order. And your $50 order earns you my free make and take packets for the month as well. Um, so make sure, and then what I do is in August, I just type in either Stampin' Up or bonus or codes and they'll all populate for you. So that way you can use them. Um, so just make sure that you guys are aware of that. That ends at the end of the month. And then my monthly kit club, if you guys want to join us, I changed the date is the only thing that I have changed on this, you guys, is that I used to say you had to join by the 15th of every month, and I decided to push that back. Oh, I thought I updated this graphic, but I didn't. I updated it, but I didn't update the one that's in the slide. So it's the 20th now that you have to register by if you want to get that month's projects. And um, you can join or cancel at any time. But like I just said, if you sign up by the 20th of every month, you'll get that current month's projects. If you sign up after the 20th, you're going to get the next month's projects. And every month you receive a make and take packet um, that you use to create that month's projects. Um, you don't have to purchase the featured stamp set or bundle, but if you do, you're going to save 17% on that. And then every month your kit includes $20. <coughs> <coughs> I'm sorry, guys. <coughs> $20 worth. <coughs> <coughs> Hold on, guys. I got to take a drink. I am so sorry. I still have that cough. <coughs> Every month you're going to receive $20 worth of Stampin' Up! product for you to create that month's projects. For the Kit Club members, we make eight cards. You make two of four different designs. And then you'll be added to my private Facebook group page um, that is for members only. And that's where I post the PDFs and the videos showing you guys how to put this stuff together. And then the greatest thing, I think, besides the $20 worth of Stampin' Up! products that you get every month, is after you've been a member for six consecutive months, you earn a $25 product bonus. And that is for you to spend however and on whatever products you want. And I place the order for you with Stampin' Up! You just tell me what you want, and then Stampin' Up! will send those directly to you. And then um, if you are on my team, you'll be added to this for free. So you don't, um, that's a part of being the perk, all my online classes. And you guys, I still need to add the prized uh, peony class. I keep forgetting to add that for you guys on our page. And then I just want to show you really quick what I got. I can only show you the inside or the outside. I can't show you the inside, but this is our new holiday catalog. And I absolutely love the outside of this. Um, Kit Club members always receive their catalogs for free. And so when I mail out your packages here in the next couple of weeks, I'll place the order on the 20th. And then um, once I get those, I'll, I send all the packets out. You guys will get your, um, your catalogs in, in July. So probably actually the beginning of August. You can start ordering August 4th customer soon. So let me show you really quick. I keep talking about my free make and, pay, make and take packets. I do this on my blog every month. So I have free make and take packets. This is card one, two, and three. And if you spend $25, you earn one. If you spend $35, you earn two. And if you spend $50, I send you all three. And so this is how I package them up. And then I always put on there what it is. So that way, you know, if you can't make them right away, you can go back and you'll know exactly where you got them from. I send you all the card stock, everything you need. If I don't include something, I tell you, but if it's on the card, I normally try to include that. Um, I did use the Wink of Stella on that flower. I'm not going to include the Wink of, of Stella. Um, that is an option. If you guys want to color it, you can. But also, if you, you can download this Bobby's Reward Bucks form and you track your orders and it's $50 before tax and shipping and handling and that is on those bonus day coupons as well. I forgot to mention that. Um, but it's before tax and shipping. You track your orders here and once you have this all filled in, you earn $40 worth of Stampin' Up! products for free. And again, you'll just tell me what you want. I place the order with Stampin' Up! and they'll send them directly to you. Thanks so much guys. You guys are saying you love my nails. I didn't know when I went the last time, I wasn't sure what I wanted to get. 
And so I just told her, do whatever you want. And that's what she did. Okay, let's talk about my quick kit club really quick because I feel like the month is almost over and I haven't even gotten to share it because I had to cancel last week. But I'm featuring the stamp set, Pampered Pets, and this is back in stock, you guys. So we can order it. I can place everybody's order. If you are already a team, or I mean a club member, I sent out an email last week asking you, did you want to add on the bundle? Everybody has um, responded. The, the majority of everybody has responded. There's a few that haven't. So if you're on here and you're watching, if you could respond to that and let me know if you want to add on the bundle, I would really appreciate it. Um, I want to get the orders in. Um, you guys know I work second shift, so I'm up really late at night. So I like to place my orders as soon as I can. And I have enough um, people now in my kit club. It's growing every month. I get new members. I just had somebody sign up the other day, and I'm so appreciative of that because I love 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 designing for this so this is the bundle and you it's 11 stamps and then you get five dies in the bundle and it's only 39.50 you guys to add that on so here are our projects so this i don't have the gift card holder i must have left it in the other card that i did the video with but you can slide a gift card right in here that's what that little pocket is for so this is one of the cards that we're going to make and here is another card and then this, I love this one. So the little paw prints. And then I'm actually sending you the little um, love and the adhesive sheets that you're going to need to adhere that. So I will have that word die cut out. It will already be on the adhesive for you. And all you'll have to do is just put it on your cards, okay? And then <coughs> this one is super cute too. I thought the little cat looked scared. And we all know that, that, that cats aren't scared of mice that they chase them but i am very scared of mice i don't like mice i don't look like looking at but i just thought that was so stinking cute and i think this is meant more for me than it is the cat <laughs> okay that's that now this is the 3d projects this you guys know i shared this on my facebook live so there won't i can't remember if i did a pdf for this or not um, but if i did it will be on my blog that you can download and the video is on the facebook live so I'll put that in the video, but I'm not going to include this in the video for the class packets just because it's already there on Facebook. But this holds two little cute um, handmade or homemade dog biscuit treats. And then this is just a cute little gift box. This has like one of the brushes where you can um, brush your dog. So this is a cute little box, an adorable little treat holder that is a dog house. And you'll receive the DSP, everything like I do, all the die cutting for you guys. Um, this card, I did want to point out too. This one took me quite a while. I don't know if you guys can see the, the score marks. I don't think my webcam is picking it up. But this has score marks on it. I really wish you could see that. But you can't. It's not going to pick it up. There's too much white there. But anyway, I scored that on my Simply Scoreboard. And for everybody that is a Kit Club member, you, you make two of each card. So I had to score a lot of those. Um, so I just wanted to point that out. But this is cute. I love this. This is a little nail file holder. And then I will also have these words uh, popped out for you. And those I used the foam adhesive. So that you guys will re already receive those two on that foam adhesive. So to put your projects together. And this is my favorite. I took this upstairs after I made it. And laid it on the kitchen table and my husband knew immediately that I made it for him and he you know was very appreciative and said thank you and he really liked it and it was nice and everything and then I responded back you're welcome but you can't have it until after this class is over <laughs> because I have to show it and I have to use it on my videos and things like that um but I just think it's so cute I'm going to show you the inside really quick and I'm not sending you any of the things that are in the inside. You will get the cardstock to make the book. This was our little Pebbles that passed away. And so this is, she always slept with her little tongue out. Isn't that just so cute, you guys? But I'll, I'll have the instructions to show you how to put this together. And that was when she was a little baby. But I just thought this was so cute. And that's my youngest son. I just thought it was so cute though. So that is about that. Let me see if anybody has any questions. And guys, I have to take another drink. 
I don't like. Thanks, Lily. I miss you so bad. Lily used to work with me. Okay, nobody has any questions. So I'm going to jump right in and show you the project. So I made this a couple of weeks ago, guys, like almost three weeks ago, actually, because I tried to design my projects ahead of time. So I might flounder this all up today. Who knows? So it's a uh, flower pot, like a little greeting card where this slides out. You can stamp your your little green. I'm not making this one because after I made this one, I just, as soon as I started thinking about this design, I, I thought the Sahara sand and the bumblebee ink or cardstock and the ribbon and everything would go so cute together. And I liked it, but it just looked too much like fall to me. So I changed it up and we're going to use the um, Misty Moonlight. And then I also ran that through the embossing folder, but I did stick with the, um, the bumblebee cardstock and all that kind of stuff. So I rounded, I'm going to show you this. I rounded the cardstock on this one for the little note card. On this one, I didn't. And I do prefer it not rounded, so I'm not going to round that today. But I did want to show you guys, if you do want to do that, you can just use the detailed trio punch. And that's how you can round those, okay? And then I don't even know the name of this. Isn't that horrible? I can't think of it. But it's got where you can do the little slit to slide your ribbon through. And then you can create your little hole there at the top. And so that's how I did that for the linen thread. And so I have my linen thread here I'm going to use. And then we're going to use the gingham um, bumblebee ribbon. I have scrap pieces of the bumblebee cardstock. I'm going to stamp the daisies on. And we're going to use the little daisy punch. And then, oh, I already have my tag popped out. Oh, yeah, I remember I had an extra one, so I'm not going to do that, but I'll show you how to put the hole in it. And then I used the hammered metal 3D embossing folder to get that look there on the flower pot. So we'll use that. And then I have a piece of Whisper White that is three by five, and that's for the note card. And then the Misty Moonlight, do I have the measurements? Or no, I'm sorry, I said that backwards. The Misty Moonlight is three by five, and the Whisper White is two and three quarters by four and three quarters. So that's for the note card. And then let me jump to the stamp set. I'm using the Daisy Lane stamp set, and we're going to use the smaller Daisy. And then I'm using the Bumblebee and Misty Moonlight ink. Let me grab the stamps off of here. You guys always love to see my board. Okay. So I'll show you guys how to make this. I have a scrap piece of Whisper White, I think, because I forgot. I was thinking I needed it, need it for that, but I don't. Okay. So we're going to grab the Simply Scoreboard. My camera is not, I don't know why it's got, I moved it and I really am regretting moving it. I'm trying not to make you guys sick. I hope that's better. But I don't know why that is showing such a glare. It's never showed that glare before. Okay. Hopefully that will go away. Let me grab. I know sometimes when I'm doing my videos, if I place a piece of dark card sock, it kind of makes the glare, makes the camera adjust, but I don't think it's working on that one. Okay, anyway, I'll get started, you guys. The card, for the card base, it's 11 by 4 and a quarter, and you're going to score on the long side at 1 inch, 5 and a half, and then again at 10. Super easy. Okay, and then I'm going to fold that in half, just like this. I'm going to grab my ruler and a pen. And I'm going to line this up at three quarters of an inch and then make a tick mark. And then I'm going to move it over here to this side and do the same thing and just make a tick mark. And I have to remember to erase my tick marks because I always forget to do that and then I see them later. Okay, so then I'm going to place it in my trimmer. And I hope you guys can see what you want to do is I'm gonna line up the tick mark in the gutter right there. But this piece, I don't wanna cut up here, but I am gonna move it in so I get that angle, but I don't want it to where I'm gonna cut it, okay? And I'm just gonna cut that off. And I went back a couple of times because 
it's a little bit thick you're cutting through two layers so on this side i'm going to line that up and then i'm just going to again put that one right there where it's right there at the corner but not quite going to cut that and that's how you get that shape okay then my big shots move that flat line there so you don't need the magnetic one I'm just going to take the embossing folder and I didn't do the top so I just left that's why I'm not messing with the score lines of that yet I just lined that up closed the embossing folder so let me see I want to make sure that I'm going to get all of it but I don't want to go past my score marks let's put that on there I can never remember you guys anymore if it's um, yep, too many plates. Take that one off. I can never remember how many plates it takes for which embossing folders because I still have some of the old ones, some of the new ones. Okay, that's not right because that's not even embossing it. Oh, you know what? I know what it is. Hold on. And we have a million and one plates now, too. Okay, so I need the blue one. Let me make sure that this didn't move on me. And I don't know if you guys have heard or not, but demonstrators can start ordering. Or, oh, I just shoved that in there. Demonstrators can start ordering the new die cutting machine in August. And I am so excited about that. I am ready for something new. There we go. My big shot's doing good. I've seen people say that theirs is on so there you go that's how you get that that their um, big shot is on its last leg and things like that but i've had mine since i signed up to be a demonstrator and i haven't had any issues out of mine at all so let's just thin those back and burnish those then i'm gonna take my stampin i just want to say steel seal plus and i'm gonna put some adhesive and just make those lay down and if you wanted to, you could take your paper snips and angle and cut those off, but I'm fine with that. So I'm just going to leave mine just like it is. Move my cart closer. <clears throat> and let me see if you can see my, my tick marks, I think, are pretty much covered up. Or either I've trimmed them off. I'm just trying to make sure that I don't leave them on there. Okay, let's go ahead and I'm going to use some of my liquid Tombow to put that piece of Whisper White on there. I'm just going to center that. And like I said, if you guys wanted to round the corners on these, you could. I'm just choosing not to. And then I stamped the moments in my life happen with you. And I didn't know. Let me see if I have that. Yes, I do have that. So I'm just going to stamp that. And if you didn't want to stamp this, ooh, my stamp pad won't come undone. Um, if you didn't want to stamp this, you don't have to. You can stamp it down lower if you would want to write a greeting. Just don't stamp it up too high because that's where we're going to put our flowers. I'm just going to stamp mine something like that right there. Okay. I'm going to get this out of the way. We'll put our flowers on there in just a minute. Now, I already stamped and cut out three of the flowers because this kind of takes a while to do. So let me grab what's right in front of me that I'm looking for. Bumblebee ink, and I'm going to stamp two for every one flower. So one, two, and I might have to grab some more scraps, I think. Let me grab one more. I wasn't sure, so I left the paper over here and just stamp them down close towards the bottom and then it's easier to punch out and then I just line it up and once I can kind of get it where I think I want it I lightly squeeze to kind of keep that paper a little bit more I have a little bit more control over it that should pop out really easy. Line 
that. So this is going to give me my fourth flower, and I want five. So that's why I pre-cut those, and I got that stuck in the front and pulled out. Hold on a minute, guys. I got my cardstock stuck in my punch. Oh my gosh. That has never happened to me, and it is stuck in my glue. Only during a Facebook Live does this stuff ever happen to me. I have never, ever in five years <laughs> gotten card stuck, stock stuck in my punch, you guys. My Facebook Lives are just, anymore, it's just kind of like, tune in and see what's going to, what catastrophe she will face today. Oh my. I don't even know how that happened. That piece of card stock is not even wrinkled, crinkled, or there, there's no explanation for that, you guys, other than it's just me, and that is my demo, okay, I want to show you guys, I was hoping this would happen, see how I can't quite get around that flower, when that happened, let me cut this one out first, because I think that will be easier, so let me just get this lined up, trim this down a little bit and that's that's really all that needs is to be trimmed down so the punch will go in there a little bit easier around that so like right now if I try to do it that way I can't I can't get around it because the cardstock's too long so if you turn it and you still can't just trim your cardstock just a little bit that's all it is there's like one corner or something that's hitting that is not letting your cardstock fit in there so I always like trim off this corner that corner or something like that let me show you guys look at this that is what was in that punch and I cannot believe that because there was I don't understand how that got stuck other than like what I just said just my dumb luck and you could pop these up with the dimensional if you want to but I just decided to use Tombow and if you have one that you don't favor, that you think maybe you didn't punch out as well, put that in the back. And then the, the, the top layer will kind of help hide that. If you have one, you don't particularly like your stamping or your punching one. And then you're going to have to let that set up just a little bit. And so while we're waiting for that to happen, I'll take my ribbon, if I can find what I did with it. I've got to remember, I think I went ahead and tied this. Let me look at my card. Let me see, I think I did. So I just laid my ribbon down, and you just want to make sure that you don't have a twist in the back, and you got to make sure that you have enough. I like to leave mine on the bolt while I'm doing my tying. It just makes it easier for you to cut. See. Now that I know I have enough ribbon, I'm going to go ahead and trim that off. I'm going to try to make it a better, prettier bow here in a minute. I'm going to retie that because I don't like the way I tied it. It's hard enough to tie a bow, you guys, and it's even harder when you're doing a Facebook Live and you have people watching you. I go tomorrow to get my nails done, and I have no idea what color I want to get this time. If you guys have any suggestions, I would greatly appreciate it. What do you guys think I should do? Okay. A year ago today, too, guys, I've been saying this to my husband all day, and he's kind of sick of hearing me say it, I think. But a year ago today, I was in Destin, Florida. And I'm so sad that I'm not there today. And then I'm just going to banner these a little bit. Like that. Okay. I love this ribbon. And you could put a little bit of adhesive on the back of that too if you wanted to. Um, like if you want to just make sure it's going to stick there. I'm going to grab my tag and I'm going to stamp and bumblebee the word friends. And I'm going to stamp it down a little bit because remember we got to put that circle in the top. And I'm going to grab this and I just put it in there, flip it over where I can see the circle, and then I just put this in there. And you're basically just going to have to eyeball it, and that's just going to pop that little bowl. Then I took a little piece of lemon thread, 
and it is bubble. And you can leave this hang down as low. I wanted mine kind of not hanging so much, so I just fed it underneath the ribbon. Grabbed my other corner, and we're just going to tie a knot is all we're going to do. And I'm not ignoring you guys by not looking at your comments. I get so distracted when I look at them. It really makes me forget what I'm doing. I was showing one of the girls at work um, the other night one of the cards I've made. And it was the um, whale card the, when I was doing the fun fold series. And um, I said, look at this cute dinosaur card I made. She started laughing. She goes, please go home and get rest. <laughs> I started laughing. I was like, I know what I want to come out of my mouth. But it doesn't always come out of my mouth. Okay, so I'm just placing dimensionals on the back side in the center of all of these flowers. Yeah, she really liked my card. The younger girl and I sometimes feel like younger people don't really get into stamping. And she really liked the cards and she wants a catalog. And so I'm so excited to show her some of the stuff. I'm actually taking her an extra two extra paper pumpkins that I have. And I told her, I said, that would be perfect for you, like for starting out. And her sister, she was showing me a picture. She's got a 13 year old sister and her, her sister makes those paintings. And I'm telling you what, this girl has got talent. And so I'm going to have, well, I can't say what I'm going to do because there might be family members on here, but somebody's going to get one of her paintings for a upcoming holiday. I'll, I'll say that. But this girl for 13 years old, I was blown away. So you're going to pick your flowers. Kind of like this is how I arranged mine. I did like three and then five. And so I just placed one on one corner. And then one on this corner. And then scooch to this one in the middle. I struggle to get those backings off. Sometimes it's like I can get them to come right off and other times it's like they're on there for life. And then these you just kind of place randomly and I kind of pushed up and then just go back in and fix the petals on the daisy. Did you guys see? I wish I had my book here. I don't. But the one um, celebrating sunflowers, the um, inlay backgrounds. I absolutely love that card. That's on my YouTube channel. If you guys want to go check that out and subscribe while you're there guys. So there you go. That is how you make that cute little card. And like I said, you could stamp it or you cannot stamp it is entirely up to you. Okay guys, that is it. That is my project for today. What time is it? Oh my gosh. I'm done super early today. I feel like I'm forgetting to tell you guys something too. Like I don't know I'll lay this one here so you guys can see that. I don't know. Am I forgetting something, you guys? Oh, Janet's getting hers done tomorrow. Jessica, I am so glad you're on here. I was thinking about you the other day. You know, I just did pink, like two sets ago. I think I did pink. I'm thinking about doing a blue, like a turquoisey. Um, oh gosh, Wendy said she can't see. Could you guys see what I was doing? That makes me so mad when I'm out of frame. My camera, I moved my camera, my webcam, and I really am regretting it because it seems, I know I don't have it back the way that it was set up and I was kind of messing. Okay. I'm just trying to scroll up you guys to see if anybody had any questions. Okay, I'm just I'm just going back, guys, to see if anybody had any questions. Okay, if you don't, please make sure that you share today's video, leave a comment, and that will enter you in the drawing for next week's um, Game On stamp set. 
Oh, Jessica said she's boring and she just always gets French manicure. I love to get the designs. I just type in whatever coloring color I want to get my nails. Let me move this back so you guys can see me. Um, whatever color, um, you know what, Cindy, she said, uh, for garden club. Okay. Patricia said the punching was okay. And I'll just show you guys really quick again. Um, I'm sorry about that, that I didn't have that. I have to move the camera. Hold on a minute, guys. Okay, so I'm sorry about that. I don't have any extra card stock over here, but you guys know how to line up your daisy on that. If it was for this, I will show you really quick. Let me just pop one out here, and I'll show you. I didn't. I tried to look over there to make sure I'm still in it today. I didn't. So let's just pop the, the card out for the tag. And then I just flipped it over where I could see the circle. And then you just really kind of eyeball it. And it's easier once you have your stamped image on there. And then it's, it, it's just really quiet. I don't know if you guys heard that. But then you just pop that, make that little circle there. And then it also has the little square thing right there. I'm not really sure what the technical term for that is. But you can pop that out. And then you could run lace or ribbon through there. Not necessarily lace, but ribbon. Okay. And if you guys haven't, please, I am trying to grow my YouTube channel as well. So if you haven't um, subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do that on YouTube. It's just my name, Bobby Crouch, and I would greatly appreciate that. And I know once I hit the end button, I'm going to remember whatever it was I wanted to tell you guys. So um, I did have somebody email me the other day and want to know what stamp set I was using for August for my monthly kit clubs. Uh, projects and I haven't decided on that yet. I'm not going to do Christmas, I don't think, um, this early because that would be for August, but I probably will in September. I'll start using the Christmas bundles and I'm going to start sharing some of the Christmas um, projects that I'm making. I'm going to try to offer an online class each week um, from August to November, I think is the way I already have them all planned out the ones I want to do and everything like that. So if you haven't signed up for one of my classes right now, I'm doing the pampered pets. Um, I offer every month what I do with my monthly kit club projects. I offer that as an online class as well. So if you don't want to sign up for the kit club, you can sign up for the monthly class and I'm going to be working on another class this weekend, hopefully that I'm going to open up the registration for over the weekend. So I would love to have you take one of my classes. I would love to have you um, sign up for my kit, kit club or join my team. You get everything for free that I offer all my online customers. You know, Mary, I was thinking of one of the fall ones, but do you guys think it's too early? Let me ask you that. Do you think it's too early in August to start, like, make, because I have art, I have a ton. I, Mary, you know what we were just talking about before I went live with the guilty the guilty. <laughs> uh, I have a lot that I ordered from the holiday catalog and I'm ready. Like I am ready to start. I know we just launched the new June annual catalog, but I'm ready to start the fall. You know, and I think the reason that I am you guys is because last year I ordered a lot of stuff on my pre-order. And then right at that time, that's when we got hit so hard at work and we were mandated all those crazy overtime hours and I didn't get to do anything. I didn't get to hardly do anything last fall. And this year I'm trying so hard to work ahead and stay ahead. And so I'm going to do it this year one way or the other. I'm going to do it. Okay, guys, I'm going to go. Thanks so much for joining me today. Please remember to share or comment to be entered in next week's prize patrol. And I will see you next Wednesday at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I hope you guys have a blessed day. Thanks, guys.